<laughs> oh, good. Zeal. I can't tell you how much yesterday sucked. <clears throat> you already know. So here's what happened. Um, I got to the boss, and it just wasn't working, right? So I busted out Rand, got him up to be able to do tier 3, and then that took like 3 hours, because I had to go... Because cat lost form, I think. <laughs> Something, I don't remember. Um, I got lost. I got so lo I couldn't find the, the the fountain before the boss. And it literally took me like hours. And then I killed the boss. But Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Um, I went to go back to save after killing the guy. And so I went backwards. And I I got in a, an encounter and they, like, focus fired Cad. And so I lost form. So I was like, well, I have to reset now because I need Cad. Like, Cad is... Demon Cad is, like, the key. And then it took me, like, I, I couldn't beat the guy anymore. I don't know, like, what I was doing specifically, but, like, I, I, I couldn't beat him. He just kept, like, getting into crit HP, and he'd one-shot my whole party with his swipe. I have no idea how I beat him first try. The first time. So eventually I was just like, okay, fuck it. I'll just, I'll accept a cat in demon form. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Oh, uh, I tried. I tried to 1v1 him a few times, but it, it was just, like, not even close, it felt. Also, Homunculus, Minty, thank you. How's it going? Um, and as you can see here, I never got affinity. Because I was, like, I couldn't figure it out. I, like, was just like, okay, whatever, I'll just leave. So I beat the boss, went to the final boss, and fought him for like 20 minutes. Because all he was doing was doing the... the blast attack. I just fought him 1v1 with Mert for like 20 minutes, and then I was like, I don't know if this is working, so I looked it up and found out you need infinity. So how do I do this part, Seal? Unfortunately, I have to do it all again, because I reset. Yeah, last time I talked to everyone, and it, he was like, okay, now pick someone to sacrifice. And every time I went to a room, there was no one there. And it, it would be... Well, you know who I picked. And clearly I picked... Bo. <laughs> And it didn't like bow, so I tried spar, then I tried stem, then I tried Jean. And it just like wouldn't let anyone, so I was like, okay, well fuck this, this is stupid. So I was like, I don't want to pick anyone that's in my actual party. Pick yourself? How do you pick yourself? Why can't I sacrifice bow? <clears throat> but 
But yeah, so you really didn't miss much because I like I I think I went up to the surface to the recombine cat like two times. And like every trip back down would take fucking forever. Like literally hours to get back down here because for whatever reason they're like, ah, oh, I don't think this place needs a warp point. That would make too much sense. You can't. That's the thing. You can't warp to Drogon. You can't warp here. You, you, you. The only place I can warp to is. Eight. The best you can do is you can go back into the tower and exit back up, and it'll kick you out the gate. Yeah, you can't warp to Drogon. It's probably a Game Boy Advance feature. So, like, I had to climb back down Infinity. And, and then, like, sometimes I would just, like, like, the, I'd get the double mammons, and then they would just focus fire cat and deform her, so I'd have to exit back out, go get demon cat again, or devil cat, and then go back in. It was just agony. I, this is, Zeal, this is worse, this is, like, my worst game I've ever played, easily. This is worse than Nier Automata. At least that game had decent combat and good music. This game's only redeeming factors are cat and cut. It's literally all eye candy. There's cat, there's the cutscenes, and there's the typhoon interactions with backgrounds. I fucking hate Nier Automata. I think that game is so overrated garbage. It's such a boring game to play. And it's it's kind of ugly. It's just like basic ass like PS2 environments. And I hate 9S. He's such a dumb character. Such a whiny little bitch. It's just, it's too easy. Like, you play on normal difficulty, the game is piss easy, and it's just, like, not even interesting to play. You put it on hard, and you get two shot. It's like, okay, cool, here they didn't even test us. Like, if I'm playing a game that's, like, trying to be, like, action oriented, and the action is boring, but. I don't know what they're going for. But, like, it has really good music. And, like, I like the systems they have with the, the weapons and the upgrades and the, like, the suit. Oh, I remember, so, stupid thing about this part, Zeal, is when you do this cutscene, all your characters lose form. So that's why I ended up resetting the first time I did this, because, like, all my characters were back to their base form. So I just reset, because I was like, well, I can't figure this out, and now all my characters are beat. <laughs>
have to say, like, there's no saying no, there's just, like, no one there, and then he's just like, that doesn't work. And then he kicks you out of this cutscene, you have to talk to him again and get put back into the cutscene. And it's, it's, it's so long. Oh, shit. Pull up the title screen. So here's the plan. Oh, okay. I don't know how I got that. I will go down. Yeah, I've talked. I've talked to literally everything like twenty times. Maybe I should go back up. And go back to Dragon, Drogon, whatever. Save there. And then we can check. on me. See, there's no Drogon. I've, like, talked to everyone in that town, like, five times. Yo, Tilly. Thank you, thank you. I think this version of the game zeal is just incredibly bad. <laughs> Oh, 
basically the plan is I'm just gonna try and beat the boss with base form people. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll go back up. I'll use Demon Cat. Hmm, eating a yogurt? I've never had yogurt. Scares me. I can't even drink milk. Milk kills me. I don't I don't know if uh yogurt has lactose in it or not. I think I'm going the wrong way. I feel like Angel never works on these guys. Yeah, I kind of figured it would have a lot, but I've never looked into it. Yeah, I don't think these skeletons can actually be Angel. Okay, well, Nina's dead, because there's no way I can kill these in time. These are immune to magic. Well, maybe not. I might be confusing them. Yeah, they are. Okay. Talk about the bug and his workaround. Was he last saved? Was that the dragon statue? What do you mean? <laughs> Are you talking to me, Tilly? You know who I am? Oh, that kind of makes sense. Alright, let's do that, because this is terrible. Playing with base form cat is... Like, she's still good, but the enemies are just too good. What, what's all the categories, Tilly? I don't even know any percent. I don't know what category. I could maybe do a map rando. <laughs> No, I leveled Rand while coming back down. <laughs> I literally went up to transform Cat and came back down with Rand, and by the time I found the save point, I was like level 37. I don't know what the super buff item or island is called. Any percent, hundred, any, yeah, any percent, hundred percent, low ice, ice reverse, boss order, GT, classic, max GT code, North Korea. Yeah, I could, I could maybe bust out in any percent. Maybe. Yeah, I'll join. Where's the sign up? Look at this. Look at this, y'all. 
I like that one. The eyes are so good. Even the tongue. The tongue is like so colored. You know what I don't get about this game? Why can you not use the Nina bird? And, like, I can't use the Nina bird, so how would I even get there? Because the demons are out, I can't... The whale? Oh, the whale can go. I guess I didn't need to switch my party. Alright, Zeal, what do you think? Should I give Demon Cat the blue shaman, or should I put it on Rand? Like, is adding water doing much for her? I don't want to give her Devil Fire because then Nina doesn't have form. Nina's using Fire or Earth. Fire Wind. It's, what do you mean, hits so weak? It's for like 700. If, no, it's too late. Wait, I just fucked up because I just saved <laughs> Uh Okay, well. We are going back down. I was in two autopilot. Well, I can't zeal because that's it's not knowledge that I would have had. Look at this. Well, exactly, that's what I mean. Like I would have had to try them, but I I wouldn't have tried them cuz I would have preferred Nina having forum. Wait, who'd you get, Alien? Did you get a... Yeah, of course. Big titty bows up. saved. Yeah, but I can't get Earth or Holy. I, I looked it up. Alright, time to recline. We spend the next two hours working back down this tower.
Why wouldn't you eat the bread? Is there really any downside to eating at night? Isn't that just a myth? Oh, well, yeah, if it messes up your stomach, then maybe not. First time I got to like the boss, not the last boss, but the, the pre last boss. Cat and Ryu were level 44. Nina and Spar were 41. And so since then, like Ryu's leveled fucking six times. I'm just trying to go up and down this goddamn tower. Poppy and pop parts, let's go. Is really unfortunate. Or not, not six times with three. Is the damage difference really that significant? It seems kind of cringe. Pretty sure I have the best weapon I can get for her. And, like, these things have just insane defense. Like, on the bosses, I'm hitting, like, 700, 600. Like, the only reason I'm not using fire now is, like, I, I play these games blind. I like to play them the way that I would experience them. And so, I would never have tried putting fire on her because Dina has occupied the fire earth slot. And from what I could tell, um, like, just base death. Like, I was wondering if I should even bother putting water on Cat and just throw it on someone else. I only put it on because... I kick Sten out or Spar out of the party. <laughs> yeah, I just like it because it changes her color. Because honestly, all Nina does during, like, for the last boss fight, all she did was cast Freeze a couple times, and then she was just perma giving Rand AP so he could keep casting Tier 3. And I assume that's kind of going to be what happens on the last boss as well. Is she's just going to beat the item mule because she's really fast.
I kind of figured the game probably expects you to be about level 50 at this point. Like, Nina learns spells all the way up to, like, 57, 59, like, something super high. I don't know, maybe they expect you to literally go up to 60. Yeah, 42 is literally what I would have done. Yeah, missiles is like the last spell you get, which is like 57 or something. You get bomb at 55, I think. I think there's three more spells Nina can learn. I think it's bomb, missiles, and something else. Where Angel just like ever hits it, you know. Look, eight percent. There ain't no fucking way eight percent is gonna be that big of a difference. Though. Unless those numbers are not. I get why it is the way, like, I'm really annoyed that the game forces you to use Affinity, but it doesn't force you to learn Affinity. So, like, like I literally did, I went there, I wasn't getting the result I wanted, it was taking too long because every single attempt would kick me out. I had to talk to him, watch the cutscene again. So I just was like, okay, well, whatever. I'll try and beat the game without this ultimate dragon form. And then, oh, turns out it's literally required. Game over. Uh, I mean, I didn't see anything. I game overed, and it just took me back to the statue and said, try to do better.
now inefficient attacks. Counter hit? Yeah. I wonder if, may can you maybe not counter hit while charging for two turn? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, the car infusions from Bethfire 1 were so good. But then there's Demon Cat, so I think that more than makes up. I like Breathfire 1 Nina better. I like her more of like a battle mage. form and had to reset. I was so mad when you kill the boss, the the guy that you played the PA the game, you get fifteen thousand experience for killing that boss. Two forms, two phases. Long ass fight. And you get less experience than you get from just training in the dungeon. Pretty sure they just missed a zero or something. Thanks for the follow. Oh, of course. Hero. What? Look at this. It's one. Look at this, y'all. Go, Samus. Let's go.
Why did Ram take zero damage? He's never not taken damage. Look at this. I think this room here is the worst one. It's just so long. You know, enemies are annoying. The maze. I don't know why this game has such a hard on for mazes. on that one's unique. An odd number of fingers? Oh no. Okay, I'll... Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this pinky is, is the, the left pinky that you're... It's so, like, hidden because it's so far down. Yeah, it definitely takes a bit to look at. So close to 2,000. I death these guys once today. Now we have. Oh, Rand's 40. I think our goal is to beat the game before. before Cat hits 50. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, before Cat hits 51. Um... Such a weird combo of enemies.
Okay, I think we're free. The big room. did it. That honestly wasn't too bad to get back down here. Yeah, there's another one. I can't remember what it was, but it definitely just, like, sounded like they just, like, named it how, like, with Japanese pronunciation. I need to pee. I'll be right back. This enemy is literally the worst. It's probably better to actually attack, because if I get a crit, I should one-shot them and limit the amount of damage I take. Maybe? I don't know. I don't really remember this path too so well.
Yeah, that one's so weak. Why did you half damage on that other smash? Alan, I feel like I, you changed like the formatting of your name more than I did on MSM. game should I play next, Alien? Depending on your answer, I might do it. I kind of want to have, like, a break in between this and the third game. You gonna really let one guy ruin your name? Everyone call me, everyone, I swear to god, was saying like, oh alien, I really like your name in all caps. And then one fuckhead says, oh it gives me anxiety. Pussy day. Can't believe you do this. I hate these skeletons, so it's like not even that bad. The puppy. Here, here's a here's a free waifu in honor of puppy. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Imagine if you were that too. God dang. I was gonna add another 2B picture today, but it was AI. Bad times. Uh, it honestly, it looked really good. I feel like the, the the days of like fucked up AI art are gone. I like never see that anymore. It blends like all the AI shit like blends in pretty well. Now. I think one way to tell AI is like if there's like patterns, like a lace, like kind of thing. That usually looks really weird. Or like jewelry.
I don't know about that way. Oops. I like how you 15 toes. And then only six figures. Yeah, exactly. They were definitely the biggest giveaway when it like first kind of picked up. Whippies? Why do you think there's so much sparkle fan art? Not that she ever seems to get cold. for her. I'm so glad we did that. Um, I'm a little scared here. Apparently, this guy doesn't fuck every time. Okay. Well, back we go. That, that enemy is so fucking cringe. That's the enemy that ruined my run when I killed the boss. They just got slammed into hail. Nothing you can do about it because running is not a consistent option. Reliable. Four steps after using a smoke. Fucking garbage game. Dragons. Wait, what the fuck is this? The counter rate is so ass. Keep attacking the wrong person with Nina. Oh, never mind.
wrong way again, didn't I? Yeah. I can just get a crit on this guy. Life would be so much easier, but for some reason, they never crit. And then they have like guaranteed crit. I wish there was a town, or like a Narm or even town. It's like the worst possible turn to fight. Literally three turns to combat, guaranteed. It's so slow. get lucky if they don't heal. I'm just not even going to risk it. Yeah, I was like two screens away from safety. <laughs> That's so annoying. This thing has never resisted death. I've never fought one of these down here, legitimately. I wanna check this room. This is nothing, right? Oh. Maybe it's a faster path? So stupid. See, I've been down farming these guys for like four hours, probably, if not more. Drop rates of this game are weird. Oh, shit. 
That's a little annoying. in an MMO, chances are the mob is not threatening to kill me and waste hours of my time because I have to leave for reset. I think the drop rate is actually lower than the odds of the mobs just spawning me. they do changes to the characters, or are you just that obsessed? Oh, graphic tweak. So now your character looks a little different. Weren't you saying you were going to do like a 2B? Or no, you were going to do a Nina cosplay, weren't you? Double Amon are also Amon. They're also very. Very scary if they both double hit. Picking up. As long as they don't both target cat, I don't care. Alright, Nina, I need you to crit or do old Look at this. Okay. Look at this, y'all. Hey, we saw that one yesterday. What are the odds, man? Alright, here's another one. I've literally seen that one earlier today. Look at this. There you Look go. This, all. There's now a special waifu at number 2,000. Even though we haven't hit 2,000, we put one on 2,000. Jump scare. Shout out to Eddie for adding that one.
We're almost free. Just gotta make it to the save point. He double counted it. Is there any way to tell other than just, like, the amount of, uh, like, flames, I guess? Like, he pretty consistently reses himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's up to five now. Cat's at four, Nina's four, Rand is one. Three more battles, and then we're there. I forgot that there's a healing pool in the save after the boss run. I could have just gone there instead of coming all the way like to these other locations. Oh well. I'm too used to having to repeat. I did learn that um, if you beat the boss solo as a uh, solo as Merc, he like tells you about a secret item. I think it's in the room that you fight him in, and that's why it doesn't teleport you out of the room. I'll probably grab it, but I won't use it. 
just because I only know of it from looking up the walkthrough. So I'm curious what it is. I didn't look at what item it actually is. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Yo. We finally got a non Bowsette alien. Here you go. Got a nice white mane. I don't remember if it's left or right. Oh. Okay. So you can't go south. Maybe it's south from this door. I think it's like south three steps or something. You know, I don't know. I thought I... Oh, it's probably... I think you can't be Demon Cat. I don't think Demon Cat use her staff. You have to be regular cat. There's like a fake wall you have to hit down. Oh, this is actually so bad. Oh, wait, Angel? No, wrong spell. This guy scares me. Why do you have to talk to it from front? Okay. We are good. Not exploring this room. I think there's like doors and like items, but fuck it. Why is Rand not taking magic damage? 
What happened? Did I give him an item? I don't remember giving him. Yeah, nothing's changed. It's just like all of a sudden today he started doing it. Alright, listen to this bitch. You know what would be kind of funny? Is if they res from the ability and they're not even in form, and this whole thing has just been a gigantic win. Forms are in cat. That's all. this cutscene that goes maybe three times too long. What are we at? 45, let's say. 45. So it's basically it's it's literally actually 30 seconds. I mean, multiple people have been like, oh, what, what console is this on? Kind of looks like PS1, which I don't really have that much, like, PS1 JRPG uh, experience with. But, I mean, it's, it must look good if people are thinking it's a PS1 game. Wait, you have to look at the boss, Lily. This boss has six dicks. Look at that. Cool cutscene. No, not him. Forget about him. Yeah, you can forget about him too. Okay, you're remembering all the wrong people, Mert. This one's okay. I don't even know who that is. What the fuck was he even? <laughs> Was that blue? Okay, so he's thinking of the friends that are still alive. I get it. How about thinking of the ones that just, like, got exploded into a crystal? Yeah. 
There's me now. Flying around aimlessly. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Okay, good. They they retain their forms. I bet he only has five dicks in this model. As the destined child. Right. Huge boss anything? Because I don't know what this guy does. I know he casts death. Just kind of cringe. Nice hit, idiot. Me off so much. What a nice waste of attack. Fucking D pad, man. My poor knee. is kind of underwhelming. <laughs> is he snoring too much? Poor Lily. You should just go, go sleep with your mom instead. I actually lost the AP from trying to cast heal. Kidding. Okay, let's see what this fire rock does. Ah. 
I mean, surely it can't be that bad. What about the couch? Do you have a comfy couch? AP. Wait, this actually works out. Get on. Healing by what 240 every turn? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Exciting fight. Yeah, it honestly is easier than the previous boss so far. Uh, I need to pee so bad. Yeah, what? Well, I'm guessing um, Bo has better AP values. The only downside to Rand is his max AP isn't that great. Yeah, he does. Oh, there we go. There's an attack. Ram just has like a shit ton of HP too. I am getting a little concerned. That he's not dead yet. I don't know how much more AP healing. you eat the bread? <laughs> Not, stop targeting cat! No. Well, if your stomach's already upset, then you might as well just eat the bread. Two? Is that it? Like it.
Okay, there we go. Possible. My mom's lactose intolerant, and me and my brother are. Look at little. this. Look at this, y'all. They're just girlfriends. Oh, what do you mean, why? Look at this, like, middle donger. A weirdo, and this is why religion is bad. Wait, they de she came out of her form. See, for me, Lily, cheese doesn't bug me. Except for, like, very certain cheeses, because depending on how the cheese is made and which one it is, determines, like, how much lactose is in it. So you might be okay with cheeses, but, like, milks? Like, milks fucking... Milk and ice cream. Can't drink too much water. I chug water before bed and in bed. Hey, victory over the dragon? What? Can I just exit? Is that an option? It took Murph 30, 30 seconds to run across that bridge that I walked across in 10. Oh, that's the end. Well. Okay, never mind. It Patty! Is she kissing us? I'm gonna believe that. Well, that not make her not our sister. Which I think we've come to the conclusion already. The Destiny's Child. What the hell is raw milk? I don't drink milk at all, so... It's not our sister. I, I, I studied very well when Valerie sacrificed herself. She was still pregnant. Project BF2. Where's credits? Okay, wait, hold. Where's Mert? But not actual, not blood sister, so it's fine. It can't be blood sister, Zeal. She died. Patty or Valerie was still pregnant when she turned into a dragon. Sacrificed herself. 
And when you talk to Patty in Grogan or whatever, she's like, oh, it must... Or you, no, you talk to someone that looks like Patty? I don't remember. She's already alive? Ow. Like, you're literally pregnant with the daughter when you're playing as Valerie. There's only Mer. Peace. What do you mean, fulfill my destiny? Was that not my destiny? They called me the destined child. Did he not fall? I'm so confused. Is he looking too much into the word fall? He literally is. He's looking too much into the word fall. Oh my god. Yes, cat, come to me. Oh, do I have to transform and seal the gate? I mean, he's not wrong, or she's not wrong. Like, what? what's the point of guarding the gate? If they want to open it, We'll do it again. There was a guard, a dragon guarding the gate last time, too. He was probably even strong. He had wings. doesn't even tie into the Breath of Fire 3 story. Is that just, like, one of the endings, Zeal? Or, like, is, is that where the endings change? Is what, what happens there? Who the hell is this? There's mom. No, wait, that's Mina. Mina and her pig, even though she's a bird. Yeah, what ending is this? Or like, on a scale of best to worst, this text is so bad. 
How do you get the best ending, then? What do you have to do differently? Make my town fly. Well, I'm guessing it, I had to find the girl in Guns, which is stupid. I happen to read how that works out. I supposed to save Ray. Ray died, I think. Like normally, I'd be giving my thoughts about this game, but I just I have no positives. Oh, you fight your dad. Weird. I don't even remember when I got the G Dragon. No, yeah, no, I get it for Ray. Ray like attacks us. <laughs> and he's like I don't know, he's like, oh, I I had to fight you to make the dragon awaken or something, blah blah blah. I just feel empty. Where's my phone? Let's look at the... my list. Maybe I should play Chrono Trigger one day. I've played it like once all the way through, I'm pretty sure, and then I was just like, okay, and never touched it again. <laughs> Pros of Breath of Fire 2. The cinematics, they are pretty. The typhoon interactions, they are pretty. Cat, she is pretty. Cons, the story. I didn't understand the beginning. So when I wrote, I didn't understand what happened in the beginning. That was like, like I wrote this halfway through the game. I get it now, like with the memory erasure. That makes sense. The gem system, I still don't really understand. Like, I guess it affects the endings, maybe? I don't know. I felt like the gem system, like the, the amulet, kind of half-assed. All right, Lily, have a good sleep. Bo is a bad character. Fuck Bo. Just the worst character ever in anything. Uh, Ran the random gets thrown on team. I kind of this again. This was written like halfway through. I kind of came around to Rand with the whole like story of him and his mother. Like I didn't like his mother, but he seemed cool. And then on top of that, the two healers are bad. Like I just didn't care for Bo and Rand halfway through the game. Whatever. Uh, dragon form systems are awful. Yeah, but they're terrible. Grinding for like so basically required grinding. It felt like. I felt like you just you had to grind it. The game wanted you to be at specific levels for certain points on the game. And it was just boring. Encounter rate, god awful, terrible. RNG fights, bosses, like yeah, every boss in this game basically felt like RNG sometimes. Like you just had to get either good or good RNG or you just died sometimes. Uh playing with less than three party members is terrible, and it's like a good chunk of the game. Batty is bait. Yes, Batty is bait. And the, yeah, the Sten section of the game was terrible. Hated it. Lack of direction was more about people would be like, oh, you have to go to the Sky Tower. And then that's it. You, I literally Googled where the Sky Tower was because it was a fucking dot in the ocean. 
I couldn't find it. I went literally everywhere. Oh, Vigor's Agility. I mean, that's kind of like a... On to the next one where the translation is bad. Like, Vigor being your agility makes no sense. Translation's pretty bad. Overworld abilities is very annoying because you can't swap characters on the go, really. Like, the reliance on Sten, Jean, Nina, and Spar is, like, annoying because you kind of just always want one or two of those in your party. Uh, can't swap characters at will. Yeah, but the kind of benefit is at least you can do it at dragon statues, but sometimes that just doesn't always work out. Fusion system is significantly worse. Just awful. Like, it's just, it's, it's so trial and error, but it's so slow to even trial and error. The good thing is it does, it remembers which ones are success. That's fine. Then on top of that, the shamans are, like, optional. Like, it's definitely possible to not find the... Uh, the what's devil? The devil shaman. Like, it's possible not... I just stumbled on her by accident. Um, and then, yeah, I missed out on Earth and Holy, because they have, like, the most ass and, like, Earth? You have to donate 20 times to the shrine? or something like that, before killing the boss in that section, and it's like, okay, 20? <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't even remember how to get holy. Apparently, I couldn't get it. So yeah, I think the fusion system was really bad. Like, this is another one of those games. Wait, Patty, wait. Patty's model was so good. Or Patty. Um, it's another one of those games where it's like, okay, it's probably way more better play if you know what you're doing or you have like a guide yeah you could miss water as well because it's just in that one little section you just don't go the right direction um leveling doesn't still have stat gains it's kind of a nitpick just the first game it would tell you like what stats you gain per level up this one nothing lack of city names so that was kind of an issue, is like, I didn't even know, like, until Zeal told me that in the menu it tells you what the name of the current location you're in is, but I never really knew what the name of, like, any city was. I guess she did have a daughter, it makes absolutely no sense, but whatever. Uh, character XP scaling is weird, but BLF1 did the same, yeah. Nina solo section was also pretty bad, but at least it was short. Um, I mean, the Rand solo fight, also really annoying, but if you just combine with, like, there's so much reliance on the fusion system, but it's also so poorly explained and, like, implemented. I don't know. And, like, that, that, like, what else can I say? Like, I, I can't even think of positives to the game. Like I said, all my positives were just, like, um, visual, like eye candy. And it does kind of tie into what Seal said, where it's like they just focused on making the game look good and everything else suffered. So I really can't even, like, can't recommend people play at least the SNES version. I have no idea what the differences are on the GBA version. But this one sucked. <laughs>